Welcome back to the Be The Hero channel. My name is Isabel and I help you understand who you are using personality typing and astrology. Today, Mercury has moved from the sign of Taurus and now enters Gemini. And here's what you need to know about this upcoming transit. Mercury is the planet of communication and it's often fear mongered in the astrology community due to its two to three times a year going retrograde. However, Mercury is simply the planet of communication and this shows us what we're called to reflect on in our thoughts oftentimes or what mentalities we're going to feel drawn towards and by knowing so we can navigate our minds better. After all, the mind is what governs our reality in many ways. Our thoughts are what control our perception. And so knowing what sign Mercury is in and how that transit affects you can really help you navigate life. Now, before I tell you what it means to have Mercury entering Gemini, which is extremely powerful for us all, hit the link in the description below to get your very own My Horoscope Made Me Do It hoodie. Link is in the description below. Grab yours now. It also comes as a t-shirt. So Mercury has just moved from Taurus into Gemini. And here's what that means. When Mercury was in Taurus, we were called to be and embrace a more practical way of thinking. We learned to slow down, be methodical, and be persistent in our integrity and what we believe in. Taurus is the archetype of the bull. And the most prominent trait of a Taurus from my experience and through understanding the archetype is their strong sense of self. They believe they are worthy of abundance. They believe they're worthy of comfort. They just own who they are and what they believe to the point where they could be considered stubborn. Now, this is a gift of Taurus and with Mercury in Taurus, we all embraced a little bit more of a strong sense of self and integrity in our sense of self during that time. Now, as Mercury enters Gemini, our focus moves away from our strong sense of self and more towards having fun. Gemini is a social butterfly. They love to be curious and ask a lot of questions and talk too fast. And oftentimes when Mercury enters Gemini, we can feel that we are a bit scattered in thought, but this is a good thing and we must just learn to embrace it. It can be very shocking for us to go from moving from such a grounded and methodical sign of Taurus who learned to speak slow, move slow, and be stable, only to be thrown into Gemini, which wants to do everything, everywhere, all at once, and say every question imaginable. During this time, we're all going to feel a little bit more mentally scattered, and this is a great time for us to focus on learning, being curious. Now, depending on where Gemini sits in your chart, we'll show where you should channel this curiosity. If Gemini is in your first house, focus on your self-identity. Be, cur be curious with yourself. If it's in your second house, be curious with your money. If it's in your third house, be out in your community more. If it's in your 11th, focus on your big dreams and your friend groups. I could go on through each of them. But if you want to learn more about your specific book or reading, 30 minutes in the link in the description below. But overall, with Mercury and Gemini, there is a call to embrace curiosity. And again, we want to do everything all at once, which can be hard for a lot of us to embrace, especially for those who don't have strong Gemini placements. For those who have strong Gemini placements, they're going to just feel this energy is finally accentuated and they will feel scattered but amazing at the same time. However, if you're a much more grounded uh, person with a lot of earth placements or water placements, you're gonna feel a little bit out of your comfort zone here and you're gonna feel that you don't know how to focus your attention. One of the most prominent struggles that Gemini placements have is anxiety. And so when Mercury enters Gemini, we are called to focus on our anxious energy and channel it well. Anxiety is energy trapped in the body, both whether that's through thought or physical energy. So when Mercury's in Gemini, we might notice more anxiety surfacing during this time because we're noticing more thoughts come up. So my recommendation to you is make time for meditation or whatever spiritual practice gets you in touch with your thoughts. Channel those thoughts and let them go and give yourself a physical outlet. Oftentimes, Mercury Gemini in Gemini can spin its wheels because it's taking in data and not doing anything with it. 
And while this is good for us, it's a good time for us to learn with this transit, we can also hit the overload button and take in too much data in our filing cabinets in our brain get overloaded. So channel this energy through physical means. Go for a run, go for a walk. The most important thing for us during this transit of Mercury and Gemini is learning to channel our mental energy well. At its best, when Mercury's in Gemini, we can all become a little bit more open-minded, a little more curious, and engage with more people in a way that is very enjoyable. We want to intellectually connect with people during this time, so go out into the world, ask questions, be curious with no attachment, and see how you are rewarded. The rewards will come in whatever house your Mercury in Gemini, or whatever house Gemini is in in your chart. If this video helped you understand the transit that is now coming up with us for Mercury entering Gemini, let me know in the comments below. And if you want more guidance on how to really embody and work through the transits that are upcoming for us here in June, hit the link in the description below to book a 30 minute reading with me where we can talk about how the transits affect you personally based on your own chart. Link is in the description below book your reading now, especially because not only did Mercury enter Gemini today, but we also have Pluto retrograde re-entering Capricorn. And this is a massive healing journey for us that needs to be navigated well. Link is in the description below. While you're down there, grab the free birth chart workbook if you have not yet grabbed it and check out the Making Mindfulness Fun Bundle to access all 30 of our workbooks and courses on self-development and astrology for only $30 link is in the description below. All the links are down there. Check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sincerely hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions and stay tuned for tomorrow's astrology updates, including videos on the major transits in the stars. Once again, my name's Isabel and from my heart to yours, namaste.